Hi guys, it's Emma. Welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video. I'm going to be shopping and decorating my room for Christmas. So today is Sunday, November 28th. I'm definitely all for decorating for Christmas before Thanksgiving, but I was out of town for like the last week. So this is my first opportunity and I want to get this done ASAP just because I'm only going to be in my college room for like two and a half more weeks. So I want to soak it all up as much as I can. I already ordered a Christmas tree just because my target tends to like be out of stock of a lot of things so I didn't want to run the risk of not having one so I ordered one on Michael's a couple weeks ago and it's just sitting in a box so I have that it's a four foot white pre-lit Christmas tree so I'm gonna go to Target and get some ornaments for that like a tree skirt maybe a star and then just some other like miscellaneous decorations for the house and this would not be a shopping for Christmas vlog if I didn't make a stop at Starbucks for a holiday drink first so you know I'm about to go do that. But yeah, I think that is pretty much it. So I'm going to head over there and I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, you guys, I got my Starbucks. This is a grande chestnut praline latte um, with no whip. This whole holiday season, I've been getting the ice sugar hookie almond milk latte, but I wanted to get something hot since it's a little chillier this morning. So I'm gonna try it. This is only my second chestnut praline latte of the season because I've been so into the ice sugar cookie almond milk latte so haven't had this in a while it used to be my go-to like in high school i would get it all the time so i'm excited okay it's good but to me it just tastes like a vanilla latte now like i don't know it used to have like a very distinct flavor to me and i don't know if it's just like the starbucks i get it at but i don't know like it's good it just doesn't taste like how i remember i don't know but anyway, I just got to Target. It's pretty early on a Sunday, like it's 9 a.m. So hopefully it's not too busy and I can get some footage in there. I'm so excited. So yeah, let's go. Okay, I just left Target. I was so indecisive in there, like trying to choose between all the different decor options, but I'm really happy with what I got and I can't wait to show you guys. I tried so hard to get like footage in there because it was all so cute, but literally everywhere I turned, there was an employee and like you're technically not allowed to film in Target. I thought by going early, like there wouldn't be a lot of people, but I don't know if that's when like Target employees are like restocking everything. So literally at one point I was like vlogging and then this like worker like ran into me and gave me a weird look and then literally everywhere I turned there was an employee. It's fine. I'm going to show you guys everything once I get home. I'm going to hop over to Trader Joe's super fast just because I was out of town um, the past week. So I have like no groceries and I've just been like eating out the past like 48 hours. So I'm going to hop over there and then we're going to go home and decorate. Okay. This is the moment y'all have been waiting for. This is the most exciting part of the vlog, at least for me, I think. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I picked up at Target. I literally spent like an hour in there just like circling and like deciding between different things. But I love going to Target for Christmas shopping and not only because like they're super like into like what's trendy and stuff, but also I feel like the prices are really good. Like especially in like the dollar spot section, everything's like three to five dollars. I don't know, it makes Christmas shopping a lot more affordable. So everything I got is in this bag. I spent about $70. RIP my wallet, but it's okay because this is gonna bring me so much serotonin. So I already have my tree that I ordered online from Michaels. I got it on sale for like, I forgot how much it originally was. I want to say it was like 75 and I got it for like 40-ish. It's like a four foot white pre-lit tree. Um, so it's in this box. Let's hope that I can put it together because I don't know, things like that are not my strong suit, but I swear I'm not like dumb. <laughs> I'm just... I don't know, I'm not gonna putting things together. So without further ado, here's everything that I got from Target. So starting off with this little sign, I found this in the dollar section, it was $3. Did I really need this? I don't know, but I thought it was cute and I thought I could just like put it like on my desk or something. I don't know, just spice it up a little. I thought it was super cute and I feel like I would reuse this 
next year in like an apartment or something then i got this mini tree skirt i haven't like opened it yet but it's just like this faux white fur one um and it was 10 bucks which is probably like honestly the most expensive thing i got um i don't know if i need a tree skirt but i feel like it would look cleaner if i had one so got this hopefully it's not too much like white on white but i think with the ornaments like everything will balance out speaking of ornaments these are the ones i got they had a bunch of different like colored sets but i just decided to get this like neutral one and it comes with 25 and i got two of them where's the other i got two just in case like one isn't enough but if it is then i'll just end up returning the other one i think yeah this is the same set i was so frazzled in there so i wouldn't be surprised if i like accidentally got the wrong thing and then i got this little house and it has like a light up fake candle inside which is so cute um, and I got this for a little centerpiece that I have on my coffee table right now. It's all like spruced up for fall. It has like candy corn, like a pumpkin, a fall scented candle, and I want to switch everything up for Christmas. And the centerpiece is on like a little Lazy Susan thing that we also got from Target. I'll show you guys in a little bit, but I got this for that. And then I also got this little Christmas tree from the dollar section. It was three bucks. Um, thought it was super cute and I'm just gonna replace the little plant we have on our centerpiece with this for Christmas and I actually got two of those one for my room as well I just thought they were so cute they had them in a bunch of different colors and I literally stood there for 15 minutes like trying to decide which one I wanted but I kept going back to this color I just thought it's super like Christmassy the other ones were like white and gold and pink and I just felt like this would be a classic choice I also didn't know if like with my white tree like it would be too much white if I got another like mini white tree for my room so I just got the green and then to go with those I got these mini ones I just thought it would be cute to like do like a little you know like put them next to each other um so I got this white one and then this darker green one and then also for our little centerpiece um, on our coffee table we have a clear jar that just holds whatever right now it has candy corn but I thought it would be so cute to put pine cones in it for the holidays. So I got two of these little sets. These were from the dollar section, three bucks each. Literally such a steal. And then the last thing I got for our little coffee table centerpiece was this candle. It's eggnog latte. It smells so good. Not super strong, but this was my favorite scent that they had there. And then I got this little star for the tree. It was only $5, so... It's battery operated. I don't even know if I'm going to keep this, but it was so cheap and I thought like it, in case my tree looks a little bare without a star, I have one. Okay, and then I got a Wonder Shop holiday plush blanket. This thing is so soft. It was $10 and it just has like elves, I think, or gnomes. I don't know. I thought it was super festive and cute. Um, Not sure if I'm going to keep this, but... I don't know I love holiday blankets I have a friend that like always has a seasonal blanket on her bed and it just makes the room like so cozy so I wanted to get one and then I also have a throw pillow from like a couple years ago from the Target dollar spot that I think I'm gonna add to my bed the only problem is my room theme is like kind of boho so I have a lot of like pinks and oranges and I feel like my Christmas pillow like won't match my throw pillow so I'm gonna have to take them off and then it might look a little bare so I don't know we're just gonna play around with it and see how it looks but I got this and then the last things I got from Target were just some hot cocoa and marshmallows I was visiting my boyfriend's family for Thanksgiving break and I had a cup of hot cocoa so random but I haven't had hot cocoa in a long time and I just forgot how good it was and how much it feels like the holidays so I had to pick some up just so I have some for the holiday season. And I really wanted to get one of those like cute little Wonder Shop mugs. I've seen this like gingerbread one all over like TikTok and Instagram and they didn't have it. So I'm going to hold out for that one. Hopefully I can get it soon. But that is everything I got from Target and yeah, let's get to decorating. Okay, so for the tree, we have two options, either right here where the mirror is, which would be super cute, or over here where my fan is, so I could like see it from my bed. But then I always hang my backpack up there, so I don't know if that would like get in the way. I'm leaning towards here, but I feel like for videos, it would be so cute to have it like right here and move the mirror over there. But I think I'm gonna start off with it right here, and then if I don't like it, I can move it. Okay. 
Okay guys, this is what it looks like after I spent about 30 minutes like spreading out the branches and stuff. It's not perfect yet, but it's good for now. So I think I'm gonna start decorating it with ornaments and stuff and I'll keep spreading out the branches as I go. And hopefully it starts to look a little better. Okay, this blanket is a lot bigger than I thought it would be so it doesn't really work like on the edge of the bed I don't know if I should like fold it across and I can't tell if it's like too busy But I already opened it so I feel like I can't return it and I need to play around with it So I'll update you guys in a little bit. Okay, this is the only way I could figure out where it looks good I don't know if I like it though. Like it almost like screams like kid room So I might take it off and return it and just like try to package it back up I can't tell, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. I do actually like the Christmas throw pillow. I thought it would clash with the orange, but I feel like it works fine. So I'm gonna keep it like that. Okay, you guys, so this is my finished room all decorated for Christmas. This is like the big thing and then everything else is like pretty subtle like the joy wallflower the little sign over there the pillow the trees i love it it's just the right amount of christmas and i'm definitely like more in the holiday spirit now i'm obsessed okay so this is the little centerpiece i was telling you guys about we have this lazy susan that was from the dollar section for like five bucks so i'm gonna go ahead and replace this with the christmas stuff that i just showed you i'm so excited So that is everything. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here because I'm done decorating. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know I had a lot of fun decorating. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.